state versus federal jurisdiction. We're going to start with what uh, goes to the Commonwealth Government. The Australian Constitution gives the Commonwealth powers to make laws about marriage and divorce under Section 51. Okay, it is not a state power. It is given to the Commonwealth. Um, and the Commonwealth then covers that with the Marriage Act 1961. So in terms of marriage, that's the key piece of legislation that you want to be looking at and citing. New South Wales also voluntarily referred its powers over children of de facto couples to the Commonwealth in 1990, and then to, of all de facto couples in 2003. It's now covered by the Family Law Act 1975. So Family Law Act is the other um, federal piece of legislation that you're going to be wanting to look at a fair bit. It looks at things that go beyond marriage. So things like children, de facto relationships, so etc. Both, both of those two in terms of um, marriage in particular, but also our family a little bit more broadly, they're two very important pieces of legislation. I would make sure that I remember those two, and particularly how they've changed over time. Um, that is federal jurisdiction. Now there are still some things that are part of state jurisdiction. Even though marriage and divorce is a commonwealth issue, family is much more broad than just marriage. And we learned that at the start. Married couples are part of family, but there's a whole lot of other things. So the New South Wales government retains jurisdiction over things like adoption, wills, inheritance and succession, domestic violence, surrogacy and birth technologies, and also the care and protection of children who are at risk of harm. Um, which one did you want to know? Succession. Succession um, is it's to do with wills and inheritance. When you die, who takes over? Who takes ownership? Um, things like that. So if you have an estate, yeah, a business, um, property that you own, um, a title that you may have, yeah. things like that. That's that's a state issue. So they, they deal with that. Um, adoption, also a state issue. Um, surrogacy and birth technologies. In terms of, these are current events um, in relation to same-sex relationships, adoption and um, birth technologies were two things that have been considered recently or in recent years by the state parliament. You know, should same-sex couples be allowed to adopt? I think that was in 2010. Um, and same-sex adoption was passed. That's so recent. Um, and uh, birth technology, so should same-sex couples have the same access to um, IVF as opposite-sex couples? Um, and they're state, state jurisdiction. Okay, so even though marriage, even though de facto relationships, and even though um, children tend to be a commonwealth issue, these are still state issues. And <coughs> care and protection of children who are at risk of harm is still a state issue, even though children tend to be federal.